Hey guys, welcome back to General Manager Games. My name is Aaron, host of Around the World Sports, and this is just a quick video, um, I guess going over some of the, the new features of Out of the Park 23 that I really like. Uh, not much that I don't like, but uh, you know we'll, we'll kind of look at both. A lot of this stuff you can find all over the internet, but I wanted to get uh, my two cents in here while it was still relatively young. So... Um, let's start with, with, I guess, some of the obvious, uh, the obvious, uh, to me, I would say the single biggest difference between out of the park baseball 22 and 23 is the trade engine, both incoming and outgoing. The offers that you are given from the AI seem to be, uh, quite revamped and, and realistic now. Uh, previously you would get offers from the AI and you still get them occasionally. You get offers from the AI where they say, you know, we'll give you, you know, this 35-year-old middle reliever for, you know, two of your best prospects. You can still get those occasionally, but that was all you got previously. And I always looked at that as sort of a, a starting point. Like they're coming to you and saying, hey, we have some interest in, in these players. This is our initial trade offer. I don't expect you to take it. Now you get legit trade offers from the AI. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any pulled up here. I don't have any kind of queued up and ready to go. But you are getting some some better trade offers from the AI, which I like. The shop a player function uh, has uh, my trade deadline has passed. So we're going to switch to a different league here. We'll go to my offline Red Sox league. The, um, the uh, shop a player feature... Uh, Obviously, a, a ton better now. Uh, you have the ability to shop a single player like you always did, but now you have the opportunity to pat, try to offer a player out for a package, you know, of either prospects or um, uh, or of regular players. Uh, I haven't found that to be while I found it to be cool in that you get the opportunity to to look for for multiple you know, multiple types of trades, you're not really seeing, like if I offer Tristan Cassius up, you can still offer single player, bat, pro, uh, single player uh, prospect, regular veteran. You can offer up multiplayer packages and you can look for, um, you can see these are some of the multiplayer offers I'm getting for Tristan Cassius right now. I'm not going to move Tristan Cassius, but you can see that. You can also shop for prospect packages, you can see the offers there. And, and, and again, I always play my games with, with trading on hards. That's why I'm not getting great deals for a 24-year-old who hit 30 home runs and drove in 100 runs last year. But you get the ability now to, to search um, for uh, multiplayer packages. I still find the best way to make a trade is use the shop a player function to find a player that you like. So you shop single player, you find a player that you like, and then you go into the trade bo uh, block and, and you you kind of tweak that trade the way you want it. I've still found that to be the better way of handling trades. But nonetheless, uh, Trade AI seems a whole lot better uh, now than it was previously. Uh, some of the uh, other, I guess, I guess we'll take a look at some of the other player settings. You have the ability to access the player strategy page or, uh, right from their homepage rather than having to go to here and then strategy and then go to the individual player strategy. So you have the ability to to do that. Now that just cuts some time out of the, uh, the, the, the process, I guess. Um, from a uh, setup perspective, a uh, couple of cool new features uh, you have. Where are they? Uh, first of all, you have the ability to either ban infield shifts. Um, and if you don't ban them, how often the uh, AI chooses to use them. And then how big of an impact catcher framing has. Um, Rumor has it that the catcher ability has been nerfed a little bit out of the Park 23, so catchers aren't quite as OP as they were previously. Um, but this gives you the ability to tweak that if you want. Um, you have the ability to expand the roster size uh, up to whatever date you want, really. Um, Major League Baseball this year is doing it up until today, actually, because of the lockout. So I have it shut off in this league, but you can bump it up to 28 if you want to. Uh, obviously, designated hitter in the National League. Uh, the Otani rule, starting pitcher can remain as DH when removed. Uh, you have your minimum batters faced and then your um, extra inning modifiers. 
uh, modified extra innings uh, with the runner at second base. I have it off because I don't like it, but um, uh, runner at second base uh, to start off the inning. Um, you can turn that on or off. Uh, you've got the lottery. Uh, top six, uh, 18 teams, top six choices, and it gets revealed at the winner meetings. Um, what else do I want to look at? There's the in-game 3D engine is a little bit crisper, a little bit sharper. You can go back and look at my Arizona uh, playthrough here on GM Games to see what the new um, graphical engine looks like. It's still, I mean, it's still a work in progress, but uh, given where it was a couple of years ago, uh, leaps and bounds over where it was. Um, there are, I mean, those are the major things. There, there have been tweaks on the, you know, within, kind of within the game, I guess you could say. Um, but those are sort of the, some of the major changes to the game. Um, there is a, um, if you go to the start page, there is a, uh, uh, sort of a walkthrough, a first time player, if you will, walkthrough. Uh, which is kind of neat if you're new to the game or, you know, you want to kind of learn the rules of baseball a little bit uh, within the homepage. And as soon as this thing s sets, you've got a, a, a tutorial game that you can load up that kind of gives you tips and uh, features on, on you know, how the game works and what different rules are and, um, you know, things of that nature. Um, in addition, there are there have been changes made to, to the online leagues. Uh, there have been some additional changes and upgrades to the sim engine for both franchise mode and perfect team. Um, the live start feature now starts for all of your minors, not just the major leagues. So if you use a live start feature, it will take effect for all of your minor leagues. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And that's about it. Um, again, another successful Another successful uh, 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 game here for Out of the Park Developments. They continue to just uh, be uh, head of the class when it comes to baseball simulation. Um, and I think that's going to just about do it here. So, uh, yeah, some of the new changes, some of the new features. And as always, the, the people at Out of the Park Baseball are quick to identify and fix any issues that do creep up. There was an issue where players were... Uh, showing up in the draft pool as kind of max uh, potential already. So Out of the Park has already gone in and fixed that. Uh, overall, another successful release. And yeah, that is my take on Out of the Park Baseball 23.